Hello there, my name is Michael Maynard and welcome to this edition of the Pick Pals blog. Now, the subject of today's post is how to prepare your picks for their very first use. So a brand new pick needs uh, a little bit of work done to a little bit of preparation. What do you have to do to take a pick that is brand new and straight out of the packet like that? And you know, it, that'll pick a few locks okay but not many but then turn it into something that looks like this um, but one has been prepared well and one hasn't. Now why is this important? Well this is important because you are looking to get every little bit of feedback you can out of the pick and out of the lock and this is the 20% stuff guys right here right now. When you put a brand new pick in a lock if you haven't smoothed the edges of it, you're not going to know what feedback that's coming up the, up the pick to your fingers is due to the pins and the state of the lock and what is coming back due to bits of the edge of the pick hanging up inside the lock. So things are going to be graunching on other things but you don't know what it is, right? Okay, polishing the picks will get rid of all that false feedback. That is what this is all about. Right, well what do you need? The mainstay is wet and dry sandpaper. Now, you can get this in a million different grades guys. You are not going to need to go much below a thousand, but I like to have one slightly coarser one just to do real rough stuff. So, 600 and a thousand. 1500 and I will tell you right now guys the secret is that one there the 2000 that stuff is super super fine and that stuff gets you the polish and the finish that you need next thing we've got is a book um, any paperback book will do anything at all but, um, but what you want is a paperback so that um, you can you, you don't want a hardback because the hardback covers poke out further than the pages you want to be able to get flush with the side here that's why we're using a paperback book okay guys so now we're getting down to the pointy end let's actually do some work on this thing now the first thing we've got to do is cut this little bit of um, plastic off from the handle so you can see that um, the finished pick has got a little bit of a longer shaft to it here so we can get it into a decent size lock. If we try and get that into a six or seven pin lock we're just not going to have the room. So let's get in there with a Stanley knife and um, it's pretty simple stuff guys we're just going to cut round all four sides of the shaft like so then cut down towards the cut we just made like that and that's part one done okay so now we've got a little bit more room to work with next thing we need to do is have a bit of a feel of this thing and just see how the edges feel and sparrows are quite good good quality picks you're not going to get real horrible horrible rough stuff on here that you've got to get into with a 600 grit bit of sandpaper but you can definitely feel that these corners are sharp 90 degree corners they they really do need rounding off um, same thing goes up the top here it's not quite so bad up here um, and if we have a look in this little groove here where the where the head of the pick starts coming up we can feel that that is a little bit rough up there as well so we know we've got a wee bit of work to do so this isn't just straight polishing we need to take some material off here so we're going to get some 600 grit paper and we're going to do or maybe no maybe a thousand um, we're going to grab the thousand grit paper and we're going to do a wee bit of work on that okay so here's my thousand grit paper and what I've done is wrapped it round the handle of my uh, Peterson pick. Now what we're just going to do is a little bit of work to chamfer off these edges. We're not taking off shitloads of metal here guys, okay, we're just taking off a little bit at a time. We're, we're just rounding this thing off basically. 
we're not changing the shape of the pick so if we were doing this with that 120 grit that we were looking at before that yellow stuff what we'd be doing at the moment is chewing metal off of this thing we don't want to be doing that so let's just get in there and even out all four sides of this have a little bit of a look at the front of the pick as well now the one part we really do want to go carefully on here is the very tip the, the top bit that we're using to push the pins up with um, we don't want to be doing a lot of work on that so that's shaped like that for a reason okay somebody designed that for a reason and we don't really want to be messing a whole lot with that okay so let's have a feel of that it feels much smoother and rounder than it was this little section here could still do with a little more so I am just doing a little bit more on that top feels pretty good actually um, now let's get in and have a little bit more of a go at this area where are we get in frame um, this area just here just on the inside of the curve okay oh, I reckon that's going to be enough let's just have a feel of that okay yeah feels much 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 better um, if I was really being picky I actually know I am going to do that um, I was going to say if I was going to be really picky I'd do a little bit more on the underside of that hook but yeah I think that does need that so we're just going to get in and do a little bit of work there right you're going by feel here guys you're not going by how it looks you're going by how it feels okay that feels a thousand percent better to me already so we're about halfway there the next stage is to get a shine on this thing so smooth things out a bit um, and to also get rid of this yellow gunge so you can see that um, the sparrows picks have a kind of a yellowy coating on them from applying this this handle material um, we need to get rid of that and that's all part of the next step we're going to do that with 1500 so we've had a thousand we've done what we need we're now going to get in there with 1500 back in two seconds right here we go with our 1500 and this is what you need the book for now look if you sand it like this right what you're going to end up doing every single goddamn time is going to hard popping out and jabbing that thing into your finger believe me when i tell you guys poke holes in their fingers with picks all the time you don't want to be that guy so what you're going to do is you're going to put your sandpaper right in the edge of the book like this this is why we're using a paperback we're going to slide it in there we're going to apply some gentle pressure and we're going to sand it that way now the sandpaper clogs up pretty quick and you're going to know when the little area that you're sanding on is clogged up because it starts feeling completely different it, it starts feeling much smoother so you'll feel it when it, you're cutting and you'll feel it when it stops cutting and when it does stop cutting you want to just move across to another section just like I've done there so we're going to spend maybe a minute doing that I can feel the pick is getting much smoother already let's have a bit of a look at that so okay feels completely different already you can see that it's much more shiny um, we haven't done such a great job at the very bottom of the shaft here so just here by the handle and I think maybe I want to do a little bit of that by hand so we're still using the 1500 I'm down here by the handle and I'm just going across ways like that to get right in close to the handle turn it over do the other side and then when we we're, we're going to be left with an area that doesn't look the same so you can see if I put that against something white um, 
you can see that the colouration is different about here where we've sanded it horizontally and, and vertically. That's all going to come out later on once we finish the thing. Now the other thing we probably want to do by hand is the inside of that little radius. So again I'm going to grab my Peterson pick and again we're going to just get in there and polish that little bit. There's no magic to this guys, it, it isn't, it's not rocket science, eh? it's not brain surgery, but by God it makes a difference. Okay, that's, that's feeling a lot better and let's just do the leading edge as well. Okay, clean everything up. How does it look, how does it feel? It looks and feels pretty damn good. It is much smoother than it was. We've still got a little bit of that discoloration just down the bottom here, so it's it's still a little bit yellowed, but in actual fact, I'm not terribly worried about that um, because the, this part of the pick is virtually never gonna get used. It's really the shaft and the head that we're worried about. Okay, now let's get in there with our Magic 2000, and we're gonna repeat the process. So. Here's the 2000 grit, like I said, this stuff is, is the secret, okay? Um, we'll do... a little bit of work up here with it first. So I'm doing that area that's close to the handle, but that's not the bit that I'm really concerned about. Okay, the bit that I'm concerned about is this next part. Let's get that in the book. Let's get the pick in between there. Fairly gentle pressure. We're feeling it cutting at the moment. And it's just gone smooth on me, so let's move to another section. Same thing. And let's do another one. Doesn't take long for the little part of the sandpaper that you're using to clog up. You do need to move it around a bit. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, I don't know about you gents, but I reckon that is getting to the point where I'd be happy to stick that in a lock. So you can see the difference between that and how it was five minutes ago. It's, it's just like chalk and cheese, eh? So, I reckon we are just about done with that. Um, I am going to give that one more go over to polish it up with the 2000. Um, more because I'm just kind of a perfectionist than because I think it really needs it. And then we will call that done. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's that's much nicer, actually. All right, you will pick more locks with that than you would have done 10 minutes ago before you did that job. I, I know I keep on saying it's simple, fellas, but it really is. It's the little differences, it's the little things that count that change you from the 80% of guys who pick bugger all to the 20% of guys that can pick a shitload of stuff. Um, and what we just did is it's really going to help you along the way.